Hey, it's Todd Duncan. Welcome to day four in our 21 day series. Welcome to 2020 Gave Me. It is our hashtag campaign for 21 gifts that came out of 2020 that I think you and I and most people can say that they experienced. The fourth gift that 2020 gave me is the gift of trust. There is so much that has been revealed in our life, in our business, in our country that speaks volumes to the issue of trust. What I know for certain is that trust is your superpower, period, end of story. You must trust yourself, you must trust your relationships, you must trust your faith and your future. And when you do that, you set in motion a universe of possibilities. Trust is emotional and economical currency. The higher the trust, the more exchange there will be between seller and buyer, husband and wife, parent and child, CEO and company, and on and on. In fact, trust is essential for all success in any endeavor. Here's the case for trust. Trusted companies have stronger consumer, buyers, and advocates. Trusted companies have more productive and loyal employees driving better workplace performance. Trusted companies have greater favor and less operational constraints with regulators and oversight. Trusted companies attract more investment from the marketplace. Trusted companies have less turnover and higher per employee productivity. And I think that when we look at companies beyond companies who are trusted are the people who actually work for those companies. In fact, it could be said that the people create the basis for trust in the organization as a public facing instrument of commerce. Trusted business professionals have more confidence in their own ability to produce market value for customers and partners. Trusted business professionals do business with more trustworthy, productive professionals. Trusted business professionals have a healthier self-image and achieve faster and more profitable business. Trusted business professionals are better teammates and contribute to a healthier culture. Trusted business professionals attract more business and gain faster and more profitable referrals. And trusted leaders have more committed and dedicated teams. In 2020, trust was tested. Corporate trust tested. Product trust tested. Capacity tested. Delivery tested. Efficiency tested. 2020 tested trust unlike probably any time in recent or even modern history. And I think what it comes down to at the end of the day is as we go through moments of difficulty, trust is the absolute requirement to not only get through, but to grow through those moments of difficulty. Trust is not easy. Trust is not easy. It's hard to get, it's hard to keep, and it's the one thing that you must pursue. So as a, as a person, you know, as I look at myself as a, as a person, as I speak to you as a, as a person, um, we really have to talk about trusting oneself. And the question of all questions, I believe that COVID probably taught us is, do you trust you? Okay. When you trust yourself, I believe that you will have more confidence. When you trust yourself, you will probably make faster progress. When you trust yourself, you will have higher risk tolerance because of belief and faith. When you trust yourself, you're more intentional and purposeful, which we've talked about. When you trust yourself, you have a healthier perspective towards failure and you recover from setbacks more quickly. When you trust yourself, you are happier, healthier, and more hopeful about a positive future. Here's what I believe about the most important trust, and that is trusting yourself. Nobody's perfect. You don't need to be perfect to relax, say what you really feel, 
and take your full shot at life. It's the big picture that really matters most, and it's the long view. Yes, top-down, tight control and a well-crafted persona may bring short-term benefits, but over the long term, the costs are much greater, including stress, bottled up truths, and inner alienation. With gentleness and self-compassion, take a look at yourself. Is there self-doubt holding you back? Fear of looking bad or failing? If you imagine being your full self out loud, is there an expectation of rejection, misunderstanding, or even a shaming attack? Understandably, we are concerned about what seems bad or weak inside. But challenge that labeling. Are those things actually so bad, so weak? Maybe they're just rattled, desperate, or looking for love and happiness in young or problematic ways. Maybe you've internalized the criticism of others and have usually been exaggerating what might be wrong with you. Maybe your voice has become silent or stifled. Maybe you're missing so much that's already right. So part of this trust in yourself is ease up, man. When you ease up and tap into your own core, when you're in touch with your body and your mind and your experience as you express it, what is that really like? Have you been on a roll like that? How do others respond when you operate that way? What are you able to accomplish at home or work, okay, when you really trust yourself? Sure, you gotta be prudent about the outer world and you gotta recognize when it's truly unwise to let go and take risks and speak out. And you gotta guide your inner world like a loving parent, recognizing that not every thought or feeling or want should be said or enacted. And we're gonna talk more on this later when we talk about the gift of grace. But meanwhile, if you're, if you're like me and every single person I've ever known who has decided to trust one's own deep self, you'll find so much that's right inside. So much knowing of what's true and what matters, so much life and heart, so many gifts waiting to be given, so many strengths. Be your whole self. It's your whole self that you can trust. This day, this week, this life, see what happens when you bet on you, when you back your own play. See what happens when you let yourself fall backward into your own arms, trusting that they will catch you. As we go through these gifts, I think it's gonna be important for you to really, really, really reach deep and see what you truly believe is possible. See what you truly believe is practical. See what you truly believe can redefine your purpose and add value to your life. When you bet on you and you trust you, life opens to this mysteriously beautiful, canvas landscape that you get to paint. So the question for today is, where do you need to trust yourself more, thereby taking action and changing your personal and professional story? What have you been thinking about doing? What has COVID taught you? What really matters to you? And if you could take action today and trust yourself just a little bit more, what's one step you would take so that by the time the sun goes down tonight, you have boosted your self-confidence and your perspective around what you can do to change your future.